if you listen. Am I missing something? <laughs> Hear that? Yeah. That's Paul warming up in the net. It is. Well, welcome everybody. Welcome to the channel. Welcome, Joe. Hello. Carline Bay Golf Club today. Three-way match. Myself, Joe the Pro, Paul, who's down there in the net. Warm up, Paul. Warm up, Paul. We're going to have a little match called Combat Golf today. My first time. Your first time. It's kind of like a three-way match. If you haven't checked out this match before, we actually did it at the Rolls of Monmouth. Myself, uh, Lee, and Paul. So what happens is you play, basically stroke play, but if you win a hole, so if I go like, if I make a birdie at the first and you two make pars, then it's then on the next hole until you take me off that position. You're in the box seat. I'm in the box seat and you're taking me on as a pair to beat me. And then as that brings it down, and at the end, obviously it should be quite a tight match, ideally, unless someone really walks away with it. And then down the last, we should, um, there should be someone there going for the win. I'm looking forward to it. Should we get out there? Carline oh, Bay? Warm up, warm up pools, Oh, really? he's arrived. Look, there he is. Yep. Okay, first hole, 371 off the back tees, downhill, slightly downwind today. Um, quite an open par four to start with, so good birdie chance. Bunker down the right, two bunkers up by the green, but very tight when you get up by the green there, isn't it? Don't yes. go long. All right, let's go. Driver in hand for Paul, leading us out, fully warmed up. I don't understand this game from last time, so... Just no, just, just play golf. Just play All golf you gotta do is play uh, golf. You boys can let me know what's going on. Oh, that's perfect. That's what happens when you warm up, Joe. Benefit of a good warm up, eh? Drop nice. and stop, that'll do, yeah. We've had a massive amount of rain overnight. It's uh, quite soggy, the golf course today, but it's looking in good condition, considering. Joe the Pro with three wood. It's not going up on the left towards the train, but I think it's going to reach it. Should be alright there, no no troubles there, Joe. Absolutely fine there, Joe. Take that. So I wonder how this new move's gonna work today then. Oh what you got? A bit more there. Right. A bit more in here. Yeah. Turn, right. turn. It's the first time you tried it, is it? Well I've had it at the practice ground. First time on the course. <laughs> right, okay. First time in the wide world. If in doubt, if in doubt probably look less. It's always good to get your excuses on the first tee if you're not quite if you don't. That. It oh, goes lower down, doesn't it? It's, a, huh? it's penetrating. Is that, is that for the stinger move? Yeah, he's all right there. Is that out of the middle? Very low on the face, but it huh? was. It never ever went up, did it? Well, no. You're not releasing, are you? No, no, I didn't get that. Hole. Just as we're, well we're this tee's elevated, we eh? Through, yeah? Just as well the tee's elevated. Right, what you got, down? I've got 104 to the front, 123 middle. I think that pin's right on the front edge there, isn't it? Yes, I would with, say so. Uh, I'm going to go with what, about 110. My 50 degree wedge is about 110. All way above my feet. Promoting the draw, wind out the left a fraction, is it? Yeah, hard off the rail track. Definitely lower, aren't they? Yeah. That might have upset a few people, that one, I think. It's, um, yeah, it's closer than it deserved, I think. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if this is possibly a tee box for... Yeah, it's a tee box for the 18th, there, Joe. A nice flat lie. Perfect. You've got 77 front, 96 middle, so probably playing about 82 yards, 83 yards. Oh, yeah, very good, 84. Fullish lob wedge, yeah. or a knockdown 54. I'm going to go with a little knockdown, I think. Six. Heavy handed, that was. Was it? A little shy or what? No. Nice. Or gone through? Yeah, just, it was a lovely strike, just completely hit it too hard. What you got? 95. 95. Club? I've got a little 52 I'm going to hit. It's like, it's, you could hit a 58, but it's just so soft, it's just going to spin. Too much for sure. Yours, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, take that. Straight at it. Just a little right. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Dropped right. and didn't stop as quick as I thought. But. He's all right. Well, 
it is a bit long but then on the same scale it's so thin there that little narrow spot it's kind of like a figure of eight green isn't it do you mind if I ever wonder if I can feel it under you, my feet? Well, it's very wet. We've had a huge downpour on the way here. We're actually just very lucky that we're out playing golf at the moment. The UK weather right now is horrendous. Golfing days, matches, I've had three call off. Yeah. So, struggling to get those played, which is very disappointing. Um, it's tough when it's like this, because you don't know whether it's just going to dig in and splat, or whether it's going to well, take a skid and well, I take think, off, do you? I, yeah, my, my, looking at what Paul's did, but then again, you are landing on a bit of an upslope now. Yeah, we'll try and send it in a bit lower to make sure it does go forward a bit. Yeah, it's going to skip on the water. Yeah, did exactly that. Okay, that is a four, so you, you can uh, pick that one up, sir. Done. Very good. Well, we got Paul. There I go, about 20 foot straight up the hill, Joe. Maybe 18. Feeling good? I really don't know, like, do I need to hold this or what? what? <laughs> it's not that complicated. Just, just, get, just it. get it in the hole quickly, and it'll work itself out. If I hold it, yeah, it'll figure itself out. Good try. Move it a little bit. So, you boys have got, you boys have got the force. So take that away. Uh, I got this for the win. Yeah. You have an early lead. An early lead. Oh, this would be nice, wouldn't it? What are you seeing? Just outside left. So Just outside feel, right from our angle. Might not break as much. Oh, a little loop, loop as well. Look at this. Well, there it comes, thank you very much. Look at this. So Dan is now the hunted. What a game this is, I love this game. So you're now the hunted, is that right? You two are hunting me now. Easy. Yeah, I'm struggling with this format. This, I don't, this one gets me every I'm time. I'm a simple man, and I'm finding this very easy to understand. Do you know what I've noticed though with Paul? If he doesn't get it, he stresses. Yeah. So you're yeah. going to see lots of like paths and bogeys yeah. happening today because he's stressed. He doesn't see any. Don't know. Okay, 449 yards. Strike next two off his back. Uh, back tee. Cliff down the right hand side, kind of going over the pole, maybe just right of the pole. It's a subtle dog leg from right to left, kind of off the tee, and then it will come back a little bit at the end. Um, again, very similar to the first hole where you don't want to kind of get it wrong going over the back of this green. Great hole though. Oh, that could be out on the, on the beach over there somewhere and I think that's tricky tricky. That's the pressure of being the hunted, yeah? Yeah, when you hunt. That new move. Yeah, I didn't trust that. Oh, it's down the left, which is the safe side, yeah. heading towards those couple of trees. I'm obsessed with that flag on the yeah, left. Yeah, no, that's fine there. Absolutely fine there. Yeah, no problem. No problem there, Joe. That's the new driver. Yeah, I'm just uh, Are trying. Are we testing? Trying and testing today? Well, I've done a bit of testing, but I've not really... It's been in a net. It's, the weather's yeah. been so bad. You need so to get it know. on the course. Yeah, you need to start trusting what you're seeing from a ball flight thing, don't you? So. Okay, we've got about 100 yards between those two. That's perfect. 50 yards between the pair of them. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Very good ball. Very good. Spot on. Absolutely spot on. So Dan, if me and Joe tie this hole, yep. do, do, does that keep you on the perch or does it still... No, 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 I'm gone. Like, I'm off. You're I'm off, off the perch. If I don't win, if I don't halve with you guys, I come but, like... But we can't like go on top of the perch if no, one just, of us you wins. No, just bring it back to all flat. Right. Is this your first time out of the house? <laughs> <laughs> what are you struggling with? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's well. That, now that was the move at the top. That was exactly the same shot, pretty much. Think that'll be okay, though. Mm, Not sure. I don't know. They might be both right. Could be good. They'll be right next to each other. I'm even surprised he's having a look. I think it was quite a way out. Done. Right, Joseph. Hello. Little dippy hooker off yeah, the tee. Yeah, it was great, was it? I just I didn't. Dan scared me with his tee shot. It scared me with the cliff. Well, so I went left, but Joe all right. Have... One ninety, slightly downwind. It's blind. I'm okay. Just gonna smack a seven iron just right at this tree. 
and hope for the best. That was nicely done. Just missing the tree on the right there. We can't see that down, but you happy with the line? It's exactly where I wanted it. Well, there, you can't do any better than that, mate. I've got the line horribly wrong. It should be all right. Right, Paul, where are we at? 165, Joseph. 165, colossal drive, oh, big hit that. Mammoth, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice that, no run, that was, um, yeah, yeah, good. That gym that I've just finished that's... Yeah, Paul was impressing us with his uh, new gym this morning when I came to, went to his house. 165, I'm gonna hit, um, hit an eight iron. How are we feeling about that? I was pleased with that, just slightly right the stick. Very good. Oh, you've got a little stinker, haven't you? Oh, we got some groin trouble coming up here. Good job you've been going to the gym recently. Yeah, quite. Um, yeah, get as low as I can and dig. Yeah, do you lower the handle for this shot? I think you just get the handle wherever you can around the stance. Stance is the most important. Yeah. And then... Being really tall doesn't help this, yeah, does it? Yeah, it's not ideal. You just get as right. wide as you can to lower the base and then just try and try and slip the club under it somehow. Uh, nice. It's out. Seven Good out passing. of ten. Seven out of ten. Wandering down to Paul. Tidy little shot in there. Green very much slopes from back or front to back, so yeah. really hard to stop it, especially being slightly downwind and a bit skiddy with the old uh, water on top. We've got like ten putts to knock you off the perch. Yeah, you keep calling it the perch, <laughs> but um, it's a similar putt to I have on the last. It's straight up hill, bit left to right. Yeah, tidy. tidy. I'm sure Joe will say you can pick that up. Yeah, move on. Joe for a little half with Paul. It doesn't make any odds for our battle golf, does it? No, but probably important that you make your half against Paul because he will be talking about it in the van if you don't. Come on then. Oh, look at that. And that's and little sand save as well, Joe. There you yeah. go. Unexpected. Third hole here, par three, up the hill, 177 yards off this back tee. Bunkers left, bunkers right. Get it wrong down the right hand side, you're in a bit of trouble. And I think the great doctor might be showing himself in the middle of this green. Joe, what are you thinking? Well, it's 176 is the number but it's probably playing six or seven yards up yep up the hill and then i reckon there's 15 yards of wind up there i'm hitting a little knockdown four iron no oh. well, there! Well, that's slow yeah it's okay though i mean you've got loads of green to work with but you do have a, a huge slope to deal well, with when you get up there wedge, yeah. Paul? I'm thinking a little three iron, I just... You carry a three iron? Yeah, well, it's, it's sort of a three iron, it's sort of a... Oh, it's your Callaway three iron? Yeah. Okay. It's got a lot of help in it. It's just a long way, isn't it? It is a long way. Oh. Didn't see it, where's that? That is... Chip back. That's a lot of bat, that it though, was. isn't it? I'm going to hit the same though. Four yeah, it just, do you know what? It's one of those shots where you feel like you can't edit that good if you tried, and then and it just comes <laughs> off the time you don't want it a good one. The door's back ajar. Yeah. Oh, like that. Through it. Just right of the stick, maybe. Well, that oh. is excellent. Is this, is this your strategy then? Is it like play every other like hole? Blob. <laughs> win, blob, win. And that, that literally win. gets it done, doesn't it? This, yeah, this, uh, that's all you need. Three iron. Okay, we've located Joe. He's we've got about 40 yard pitch back over from the second fairway. He's played one there. He has played one there. What a delight. Joe the pro, what a delight. Are we placing everywhere? Yeah, 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 place everywhere. Cracking shot by Joe the Pro there down the hill. Right, Paul, placing everywhere today as it is so wet, and you'll probably be able to see this green is a little damp as well. It should dry up as we go around because we're not due any more heavy rain. No one's no one said anything. Um, the difficulty he's got here, he's got a massive slope. He's like on the green is where it really pitches and comes down towards that pin. So 
and it's just short now feeding down hoping for the water to stall it he was looking for water help there didn't get it no i thought i honestly thought i was short of pin eye when it, when it landed it was a great shot because it is playing nearer 200 than it was the 176 with the wind and slope got it a little left to right early and then kind of flattening out okay yeah, it's really hard to, it's difficult judge, to judge the water. Yeah. Your, ball, your ball didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Probably, if you're in a tournament, you'd be asking for casual water here, but... Oh, Don't try. Didn't, didn't great do the pace. Thing, did it? Great pace, considering. Do you want to uh, tidy up Joe and me save me having to mess about? about? Quite nice you saved me a little task here. Yeah? What a great save that is, Joe. Well, thank you. Cracking save that. Paul, you pick yours up. Thanks, son. Right, so we're still all flat, gentlemen. Still all flat. Fourth okay. hole then, Paul. Fourth great par five, um, this. Yeah, it is a very good par, four, uh, par five. It's 504 yards. And we've got the train line left and out of bounds left. So you've got to keep it right, really. Uh, but it hugs the whole kind of dog legs round to the left and hugs hugs the out of bounds So it's kind of risk and reward how close you take it tight down the left And then a funky green isn't it when you get it up there? There's a funky three, I think two or three tier green yeah. Also you've got two mine shafts, old abandoned mine shafts left and right at the centre of the um, fairway So yeah. you need to get, get over those, those. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, downwind today though Yeah So uh, you can give it, give it some He's got his driving boots on He has today Exactly. Right on that crow. Just left of the crow. Oh, that's miles down there, Paul. Me, Daniel. A bomber. Yeah, you yeah, go yeah. for it, Joe. A good test to see if I'm going to keep this driver in the bag. Yeah, is this all? It's all hinging on this shot, is it? It is. Yeah. If, yeah. I'm, hitting, if I'm hitting first again, this is that's that's <laughs> the driver's had two shots and it's retired. Done. Oh, that's gone left. Not a bit. Oh, it's carried all of that. Bouncing, yeah, bouncing. It's in good shape. That's that's fine. Fine. I wouldn't yeah. be blaming the driver there. I'd blame okay, the right Nike. It's created a very short line in there, hasn't it? It, it has. It has. It's very ambitious down there. Okay, that's out right. That could be in a bit of trouble. There's a mine shaft over there, which is overgrown now. It's very near. The very near the T, yeah. It's literally towards there. Off the tee. You've got away with it, have you? Is that what you're saying? It's not bad considering I'm working on trying to make it a little bit more fitted sure, at the top. I'm not sure about this new swing move. <laughs> no, so here is the, um, it's like a disused mine shaft that has grown over. It's all caged in inside there. And Dan just come up, as per normal, just short and absolutely fine. But he might be slightly bocked out. Right, 265 to the middle. I'm just going to hit a 7 iron and get it up and over this bit in front of us if I can. Okay, maybe just a little on the left. Just give everybody a little uh, idea of where the train line is. Just there. <laughs> I'm a big train enthusiast, <laughs> so I like, to, I like to get as close as possible. How right, far you got and what you got? Got 234. Pin looks at this at top of a massive ridge okay. at the back. So I want to get all the way back there, but I certainly don't want to go long. I'm going to slightly down when I'm just going to batter a four iron and hope I get a little jumpy one. Yep. If I don't, it will just be front is the idea. Okay, out right. It's gone out right. Oh, there's somewhere. My alarm's going off on my Is that phone. your alarm? What is that? What's your alarm for? I don't know, I'll find out. It'll be a custom one. Is it? Time to eat? Time no, to drink? That's my missus. Your missus, you're in trouble, are you? She's doing the iPhone find iPhone alert she's trying to get hold of me. She's trying to find where you are. Oh, I'm kind of done with the weather now. It's ridiculous. Everywhere we go, it rains. Everywhere. What have you got, I'm gonna, Paul? I'm gonna blame our parents because why do they bring us up in this country? <laughs> like this. Well, you, you're in your forties now. You could have made your own decision <laughs> by now. All right. You can't, you feel like you've got to you stay, don't you? You can't blame mum and dad for everything. Come on. Like you've got to stay. Right. Well, I'm gonna hit a little forward. I got two two eight. Probably too much club, but I don't fancy it. Really good shot up the right hand side. Kick Should kick in a little bit from there. Uh, a little shy. Yeah, I took a bit off it, thinking but, it would be but, too much. Well, that's okay. I think I could have hit that full length. Did you have to go over those uh, Yeah, I have to go over the down? mine shaft. Did you? Absolutely. 
absolutely spot on here though. Yeah. It was a smidgen left, but it was alright. Just made the fairway, but it was a Okay, bit, shots bit go rough. telling me I've got 93 yards to the middle, pins kind of on that back tier. 115 over the back, 54 degree wedge, shouldn't go over the back. <laughs> and it's one of those, it's one of those you set yourself up, isn't it? Just, huh? It should be uh, just a nice one of these, I think. Okay, let's see it. Oh. Double check. That's an amateur move, like that. It should have looked very <laughs> 50 for a minute over the back. Slightly right of the stick. But... Wind's holding it up, isn't it? Oh. 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 Water. Can't do that. You can't be doing that. Oh. Paul oh. Hendrickson in the box seat. Yeah. Oh, well, well. Oh, there's a couple of little specks on the lens here. I hope everyone at home can see what's going on. Joe got himself just right of flag. I'll be honest, in the summertime, this is so, so hard from here. You've got bet, a little yeah. bit of uh, I don't, you'd be comfort able to, in the winter. Would I be able to hold the green from here in the summer? You'd have to play something pretty special. You'd um, almost have to stall it on the top. As it is, the moisture is very much helping, as is the wind. I think about a 45 yard shot. Just, just, yeah, get a strike and hopefully land it somewhere around. It should stop pretty quickly, I think. Most lofted club. That's pretty damn good, Joe. Yeah, that is a very, good. very good shot from there. Yeah, take that. Give yourself a chance. Oh, look at mine there, look. That's where it's got. So it got to like, I don't know, one, one twelve, one. 11 and then zzzz, back you come pull up the hill yeah. got to be coming out of your right hand side i'm seeing definitely it's uphill quite a bit as well just a case of how much moisture is on the ground really. yeah it's how much dry, you have to this, this, this is definitely a drier green than the previous couple but it has got a lot more slope on it so the water's got a chance to run away aiming this well, quite a way out to the right Giving it a clout, hold there. Steady, steady, steady. Oh, that barn door just, just opened that. Oh, rain. Oh, rain. If anyone has a private jet and wants to send us anywhere, please feel free. A second that. Did. Really did. What you got, Paul? Uh, uphill, probably eight feet, ten feet. So we need to get a new weather app, don't we? Because it's supposed to be raining. There was no rain forecast for today in Cornwall. The summer was uh, officially arriving today in Cornwall. Yeah. Right. Oh. Okay. Well, Joe has got a chance. Chance. Take that away, yeah, yeah absolutely. That, mate. Don't you worry about that. Joe has got his chance here to pick up his point and just move on. I think you're going to enjoy this game, Joe. I think this is kind of right up your street. I feel like a battle golf man. Yeah, birdie machine. There it is. Right, move on, shall we? Move Let's on. move on in the rain. Fifth hole, Joe. Uh, yeah, 182 is the yardage we've got from this white tee. Elevated tee. Yeah. It's playing down about eight yards, you say, Paul? Playing about 174. And bunker short right. Bunker short. Bunker's left as well. Long doesn't look great. It was into wind a minute ago, but now that squall's sort yeah. of cleared. There's it feels a small like the wind. Run off short right as well. There's a lot going on on this hole. Very pretty. I love a little, I like an elevated par three, don't you? Yeah, it's beautiful running along this cliff top as well. Club? Six. Never saw it. Just right, right a bit drawing onto it. Yeah, perfect. I have no idea who's that ball is on there on the green, why. other than yours. I'll take it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're struggling, claim that one. I love that. Yeah, that was nice. I'm going to hit a little five, like. You're going to hit five? A little five. It's, it's a six iron yardage for me, but like, I don't know what this wind is doing. It's off the right, and I think it might be just hurting a little bit. 
not caught that. But not got it. No, Sounded a bit clunky. Good club though, wasn't it? A bit short, I think, still. I've got five as well, but... How does it feel hunting me, boys? Not great, to be honest. That's what they say in Max Bay, get ahead and if it's a par 3, make sure you hit the green, put the I pressure on. I didn't realise we were. Well you are. <laughs> back there then. Much on it. It's left, on it. Maybe. Get back there. I am hunting you down, Joe the Pro. Like it. Okay. I wish you the best of luck, sir. Thank you. Paul got himself greenside bunker. Joe and I nicely positioned. Pretty similar distance from the hole. Most lofted club, 58, yeah. open it up. Get, yeah, you've not got a lot of green to work with, and there's a little downslope all the way down to that pin. It's really well played from there, not an easy shot at all, but nice compact sand gives you a chance to spin it a bit, you know? Yeah. Right, Dan, the situation is we're both on. Dan probably 25 feet, me just inside, Paul at 8 foot. What's it looking like, Dan? Got it quite a bit off that left, that slope coming off this shoulder here. Probably a good foot, foot and a half left. Got that. Again, just judging the pace, that big shower we've just had as well. Turn, turn hard. Is there a little bit of meat on that bone, Dan? Like, I wouldn't give it to you guys, you know. Not the I'm assuming we've got to have two two agreements to yeah. have a gimme here. We can't that's good for me, mate. Thanks. Being a tactical game and all that. <laughs> are you uh, are you on board with the format yet? I, I still don't know what the tactics are, but I know it's tactical. You are currently one down, Paul, and you're playing with one me down. Partner. Right. Okay. Ooh. You've put well with that putter, Joe, don't you? Yes. My forte. Right, huh? I'm not even thinking about your line, Paul. Okay, no, you're not don't worry about there. that. You just hold this and then you're fine. Lovely. Well done. Well okay, done, you. Joe's still one up then. Hey, but, good up and down that, Paul. Well done. Thanks. Okay, we are on the sixth. 361 yards. All uphill. A couple of bunkers left and right, and there's out of bounds right with the cliff face. Uh, tough hole always plays a lot longer than what it is. Um, and there's quite a sort of long narrow green up at the top and you, you don't want to miss it left There's a big bank down the left What are you talking about? So, Dan's just asked me if I could make this fence up for him you build this fence up for me? And I said I've got one at home, pretty similar, out of decking boards But your spacing's bigger? The spacing's bigger and you were trying to explain why, why I would have chosen to do that Yeah because you'd save, by the time you've got all the way to the end you may have saved like half a board. No, no, board, it's a bit more board, than that, Dan. A board and a half. A according, Economy. No, no, according to my Excel sheet, it was about five boards, so. Excel. I'll tell you the price. On, on. This is riveting content, boys. <laughs> riveting. I'll tell you the price of timber these days. It's, uh, it's no joke, is it? It's not, it's not a joke, I got no. two golf balls, isn't that? Oh, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. That's gone, that's hugging the right. Oh, you okay. lucky boy, you lucky boy. It's okay. Huh? It turns out there is some right in it. There is, yeah. I didn't think that shot was possible. You got in my head there, Paul. <laughs> it's in play. It's a worker. Oh, and lefty, yeah, isn't it? Driving, that little, was not going over the cliff, was it? A little low left, but it's safe. It's safe, that one. Ripper, mate. Happy? It's all right, so that'll be okay, that'll be fine. No yeah, cent centre cut usually works. Okay, shot scope saying 113 middle, uphill, slightly downwind though. It looks like it's in the front or in the middle of the green. It's just a nice smooth wedge, I'm feeling. A little low, come down, come down. Left a bit. Left a flag. Be okay. Hello. Is it alright? Paul's been filming, I've been preparing his entire shot for do him. Know, do you know what? I've got one complaint. Go on. You've not done the grooves, Joe. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not responsible. Yeah. Would you like to use my squirty groove cleaner <laughs> yeah, that I've just what bought? You've got there. Yeah, that's brilliant, that. Right, so Paul's got 103 coming slightly uphill but downwind. Got a gorgeous lie that I've put him on, no excuse. How's it's it looking? It's at it. I don't know. It's, it's all down to your 
your um, calculations, if they're correct, that's good. <laughs> it's my sneaky plan, he actually had 147. Playing, uh, placing through the green today because it is so wet. Mud and all the golf balls. Joe, is, God, he's got away with it really because the out bounds is just here. This is a little path that, that little coastal path that everybody uses. Don't you worry about that. How far you got, Joe? It's 77. 77. Slightly uphill. It's all uphill. Just a little three quarter 54. Okay, I like it. it. Should be pretty good, I think. You happy with that? Yeah? Should be, I think. Yeah. Dan's not clapping Dan's... or anything. No, well, he doesn't really. Have you, Joe, have you ever stayed in this hotel here? Not my mum and dad. I was talking to my mum and dad last night. They have. They had a yeah. lovely trip here. They said it was brilliant. So they do. They do some fantastic little spa golf breaks down here. There's a wonderful spa that they've got here on on site. Beautiful hotel. Um, lot of mixed couples. So when I came, I came down with Laura. Dan's been and, down um, here yet. Checking it out. Really nice the hotel time, it? is Wait there. Down. Beautiful spot, and the clubhouse is just there. Anyway, back to the golf. Joe's got. I'm going to say 15 to 18 feet, moving left to right, fractionally downhill. Ooh. Great looking putt, mate. Just stayed high side. Are we well, giving that down or not? What are you thinking? Take that away. Yeah, right. are we giving that? Yeah. yeah. I'm not very good at being captain, Paul. You're going to have to give the putt to me, right? I'm like, well, it needs two. We've we've agreed really? that you got it. Both of both of Joe, you agree. Joe was agreeing there. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, yeah. Sorry, it needs <laughs> two right, of the right people. Um, funny putt, this. Are you? Yeah. Let's see a great deal in it, if I'm honest. Got to come off the left, I think. Chopping that way, the at the end. Got to. Did. Didn't it move, did that it? Way a little bit. I misread that. Okay. That's the half then, Paul's got a chance. Come on then, let's uh, let's just pop him pop him back into uh, perch. pop him back into our little zone. Is it, is it like my perch? You like it up there, do you? Yeah, I'm quite a solitary character, it's really nice. Just looking down on you two. So it looks yeah. lovely there, look at you there and the cliffs in the background and the blue sea. Gorgeous. See you living down here, Joe. Eight. Oh, it's low! It's low! Okay, Joe remains, he remains one up, and it's still against the brothers. Seventh hole, 355 yards. A real kind of like bomber, really. Something you can give it a good old sending out there. Bunker down front left and front right, and then again, the defence of this golf course around the greens. Uh, pitches from right to left, if I remember rightly and uh, a little bit narrow as we get up there but a good bombers hole so what driver have you got in there now joe you got the new you got this the new tsr2 yeah so it's just an experiment because i found a driver i was quite comfortable with that m2 but we're always looking at me so um yeah ben fisher from Titus kindly hooked me up with this i love everything about it i love the look yeah i love the feel um i love the sound I think it's just going to take some getting used to. Just you, you get used to patterns off a driver. Don't Shaft? You? What have you got in that? It's a Ventus Red, so six X, so just over sixty grams. Fujikura Ventus, is it? Fujikura Ventus, yeah. yeah. So they've got three in the range: red, blue, black. This is the the higher launching of the bunch. Feels a bit smooth. I just don't like boardy, stiff feeling shafts. I never have. No, okay, but it is X though. But it is X, yeah. Didn't see it. And it left us. Ah! It's over those people on the other fairway. Oh yeah, yeah. Ricky. About 80 over them to be fair. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, it's going to take you a little bit of time to get used to that driver. <laughs> Isn't it just... Have you hit a fairway with it yet? No. Okay. No, I, I like, haven't. No. I think you should keep that in the bag, Joe. I like that, I like that driver. But I yeah. have one up, lad. <laughs> yeah. You are, yeah. So <laughs> Yeah, perfect. A little left foot up there and a little Sally on the way through. I'd love to hit it. That's or a little Monica, shall we call it? Monica that Sellis Grunt. Five yards. The, the heel off the ground's another five yards. It? It's sad, I'd just love to hit it as straight as you. Yeah, but I'd like to hit it as far as you. So maybe, yeah. we, maybe we could compromise somewhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so it's probably 
it's probably James Roof, isn't it? The, I think that's the yeah, blend. <laughs> yeah, the blend. He hits it straight. I do. It's just as far as you. Down the driver. Well, that's gone left. That might be yeah. worth a shout. Ooh. Ooh. Might take his ankles out. Oh, oh, he's really anyway. oh, he's just had to back off. He's not happy down there. He's just had to back off. Okay, 115 middle. This isn't a bad place, like, you know. It's on another fairway. It's got to go through these trees, but we'll go over them. You can just see the pin just there. 50 degree wedge, ball. Okay. Ball above his feet. Just going to kind of... Keep it a little bit up the right. Just going to flick it left. But the wind's off the left, so it should counter it. It's gone a bit that too far, right? I might not see that down through the trees, but so far right. it's on that line somewhere. It didn't do any drifting right to left, and I thought. But if it's pin high, it's never going to be too bad there. So the pro, we are hugging somebody else's golf hole we here. We are. We've got 90 yards up the hill, so it's probably playing near 100, but it's downwind. I've got a very, I think this goes about 105, so just a smooth one of these should be somewhere near, I think. Okay. A little right, it right. looks yeah, it should be there it just there feels like mine are the same. I just feel like it wants to move in off the right to left of the slope, but it just didn't. No, cracking drive still in the left uh, rough though. Oh, no, yeah. What have you got? Shot scope's telling me you got 78 to the uh, middle, 64 front, 71 pin. Okay, down. I feel like there's quite a bit of wind behind here. There is a bit of breeze yeah, behind. It's kind of picking up a bit. Joe's okay, he's about pin high, so we need to get something. We need a bird to knock him, uh, bring him back to us. Sit down. Down. Come down. Down. It's got a little popper forward out of that lie, didn't it? Not easy. Right, all here in two shots. Time to go first from about 35 ish, yeah, slightly little, down the hill. Out the, out the left, coming around from left to right a fraction, Joe. You boys have got to make something happen. I'm getting well, comfortable need, on my perch. I know, we need to put, like, this game is all about birds. All about birdies, or if you're a handicapped golfer, net birdies. As many as you can. I only make an average of two around, so... I need something good to happen for me. There's a bit of a wet spot there. Go on, there you go. Let's try it. It's wild, isn't it? That's a bit wet there. Um, I'm okay with that. Have it out, scoot down. Pull. Pull up the hill. Look at that backdrop behind him. Absolutely stunning. St. Austell. We are. St. Austell area. Up the hill. A little out of his left. Oh, that's tracking. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Oh, well, I mean. Okay. As there's a little bit of meat on both of them, I might, uh, might take a little look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at those boys, sorry. Yeah, no, you're fine. It's okay to give them and then take it back, it's not a problem. Oh, it gave. Absolutely no, not a problem. Did you get my concession on camera? Happy Joe or not? A little bit of meat on that pool. Um, okay. yeah, I'm okay with that. You can't prove it then. <laughs> okay, Joe, should have had a little ball read off me. Ball outside the left. Ball outside the left? Every single pot I've had so far. Oh my oh, word! <laughs> uh, wow! Like Started at left edge, I think. Just uh, take that one away, Joe. Thank you. I think man. we've seen That's enough really there. Kind. Paul just mopping up for his par. You hope. Yeah. We hope. You hope. We don't, we don't hope, Dan. You uh, hope. I'm Me fully bribable, Joe. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Those of us on the perch don't need bribes. Should just wiggle a little out of his right. Oh, cricket, is it? <laughs> Yeah, not no. that much. A little, <laughs> a little outside of his right. To. Allow Jeez. me to call wow. it the uh, commentator's curse, is what you call that. Mm. Not sure about you at home, but you just comments like that just do not help, do they? I'm trying to focus. Not once you've taken your stance. <laughs> <laughs> Come back to haunt you, Dan. Unbelievable. I can't. To be honest, I can't believe this isn't being given. This is like this is a sign dream, of desperation. What dream team, we are. There you go. Well done. Uh, always a solid brother. Easily eh? done, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Good off, Joe. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Oh wow. Eighth hole, three, five, four. Basically straight back down where we've come from. Um, trouble down the left, if I remember. I think it's out of bounds, but I think it's out of bounds coming up the other way. It so is, I think yeah. you're okay. Um, trees right here is the biggest problem. Trees right problem. And then when you get up by the green, not a particularly long hole, but bunkers littered left and right. It's a tough one for the faders amongst us in terms of start line. It's really? Massive. I, I, I was going to say, well, I'm, I'm, new, I'm trying a new driver. I've this, got my fade driver. This is fine for you with this driver, Joe. Just send it down 50 yards right of this, the trees. You'll be fine here. Yeah? <laughs> uh, I imagine hold, on. With, um, hold on. 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 We're talking about the drivers. What's going on here? This, um, this is my. You just pulled. You just pulled out another driver. What do you call oh, gamer? This is my gamer driver. Is this in your fourteen play. clubs? I've got, I think, seventeen today. Right. Okay. Just for reference. It's um, part of the combat golf rules, is it? This all. Yeah. yeah I just want, I want to feel something familiar. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. That's it. Straight there. Straight there. I think it went through, didn't it? That Did one. it? Probably. I'm not right. sure about the driver change there. I think your old one would have been fine. You sent it down the other fairway, I it would have been. I think your old one gets higher than that, so you'd have got over those trees. I mean, it's not pretty, is it? It's not pretty. Okay, that's how, how the, yeah, those ones. You need it to draw back, though. Somewhere oh, there. Has it bounced out, is it? There. Yeah, we'll do, yeah. I think that's the centre. That's what they <laughs> normally do, the yeah. the centre of the fairway, Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Give me that. I mean, I'm not making excuses, but I am. It's an awkward t-shirt. <laughs> Not a great t-shirt for a fader. No, you've got these trees here on the left, blocking your start line, and ugh. Anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem for Fred Funk over here. Fred Funk. How good was he? This uh, must be your he idol. He, presumably yeah, your yeah, idol. Champion in, yeah. in the day, what, what a player he was. <laughs> Not many people grow up wanting to be Fred Funk, <laughs> except Paul. No. Ah. That's fine there. It's safe. That's fine. Wow. I'll see you boys in about 20 minutes or so. <laughs> Joe the pro, this out of bounds marker that we sit on here is actually not for this hole. Um, it it's for the hole. For this hole is yeah, it's, it's for the, the next way. hole coming back up. And you'll probably see why when you, it's kind of like a shortcut up this left side for the next hole to the next green club. 152 into a really strong wind now. I'm literally, I'm going to hit a low chippy six iron, I think, just to make sure it stays low enough. Just left it out there a little bit, Joe. Oh. Is that bunker or right of it? Just right of it, pin just right. right of it. A chip and a putt. To find a swing. So we've got 100 yards to the front, 121 middle. That red flag indicates right at the front of the green. So I'm going to go with a little Knock down wedge. Like the sound of that. Like that. Got a nice yellow splodge on this ball. Paul always tells me, into wind like this, it's not about the club. It's about whatever club you need to get the right trajectory. Yeah. Flatten it. Flatten the flight. That's lovely. Go a bit. Might be a fraction short, Joe. That. Well, well executed though, yeah, couldn't be pleased with that. 123, just going to hit a nice little 9 on it. Well, it got it just about pin high, mm -hmm. but a little bit too far right. Pitching up the hill, so I'm just going to try and hit a low 54, land just on the front edge. Let it release. And let it release up that hill. Like the it. Hill, hopefully. Going in nicely. Ooh. 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 That looked good. Right, you're good with a wedge, aren't you, Joe? Well, I have to be. <laughs> Joe the pro, what a shot that is. A good look, We're going to have a say you can have that. Thanks, mate. Pick that one up. Cracking little pitch in there. What was that you used there? There's a little bump with a 54. Oh, it's just, not... I thought it was going to fly a little bit far, then it just checked. <laughs> Yeah, I could have totally played a 60 and landed it further, but I like to get it on on the green as quick as possible, safer. Right, Dan, he's got about four or five feet of fringe to negotiate, but he's selected the putter. Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of one of those, I was thinking. It's still that awkward time of year, sort of wet, muddy lies just around the green where 
nipping it off the top still isn't that much fun as yet. Grass laying into me a little bit as well. Yeah, this is very much the pragmatic option. Just a little out the left, but not a lot, to be honest. Uphill all the way. Oh, I've got it. Caught it really high on the face, that. To strike, was it? Yeah. Bit of work left for Dan, yeah. putting pressure on his brother. Uh, you can attend it, actually. Come on. I've done that. I've done that for about three years. Is that even a thing anymore? Attended. So yeah. Paul's got about like 30, 30 feet attended. downhill from the right. Come on. Come on. A little Happy bit low, way. but that looks good enough yeah. for me. Right. Call it a half. Another half. Joe remains on his perch. How do you feel about that? Not happy. Not happy. 337 par 4 ninth hole, beautiful hole, funky, very tough hole this one, out of bounds down the left hand side, that's the fairway that we've just come up, and there's a little like almost like an old mine shaft again down the left hand side, just next to the out of bounds, and then once you get your tee shot over the brow of the hill you're then hitting up to a green which is not huge, and if you get it wrong you're in some serious trouble. What do you do what you got to do? Driver in hand? Well. I don't think it is. What, what, I don't know the hole. I like that. I like that play. The way I'm you're sure hitting. You do. The, way, the way you're hitting driver at the moment. I'm I sure love you, that. I'm sure you love it. Yeah, it's. I mean, you can carry it 330, can't you? Where do you With go? A bit of wind. Where's the green? Over so that mine shaft. It's it's literally over the right edge of the trees. Okay. But you go slightly left, Joe, and you're gone. Don't you worry about that. I can't remember the last time I missed the fairway. Oh, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> hang on a minute. <laughs> hang on a minute. Brave boy. But when you're one up. What have I got to lose? You know, I'll be back to level. Worst case scenario, best case scenario, I double my lead. Yeah. It's a calculated risk. Yeah. It's all what you got? All on black, by the look of it. All on black. Yeah. <laughs> Life savings. All in black. I've remortgaged, and it's all on black. That is right on the no, right on the line. Just hit the trees. Uh, Ob. You reckon? Well, see the line running up? Oh, is that the ball on the line? Yeah, it's out of bounds. Is that on the, oh. on the line? Well, I think it's left edge of it, isn't oh, it? It was, it was a bit of a neck, if I'm honest. Uh, wasn't a good calculator, is it? Stop like, he's laughing behind this camera. He's laughing. That's, that's the first I've ever seen anyone hit driver on this hole, isn't it? Yeah, is it the first? Into this I've never it's played it before. Just, it's just an iron up short of the mine shaft and then wedge it on. That was that was cruel from the pair. Have you never played that. the prior here? No, I've never. I've told you that. How you many times? Knew that when you advised me to hit. Drive. How many <laughs> times, Paul, have you won the prior round here? Uh, I don't. I'm not sure if I have actually. You I, think, no, I might have done. I'm pretty sure you won it. I, thought I might have done. Did you I remember. I remember. I never. remember the standard. I've never seen anybody, not even amateurs. <laughs> <hit driver rocking. laughs> I remember Paul's stock speech on this <laughs> one the in the clubhouse here. Green <laughs> keepers, <laughs> safe journey home, everyone. Catering, Thanks yeah. a lot. Oh. Yeah, that was... I mean, that's not that's not impressive, but it's that's yeah. in play. Yeah, that's that, in play. and it's actually quite a nice little bird's eye view you got there. It's not bad. Great it's shot. Not, it's not the end of the world. Is that definitely mine. Is that where it came back? So it's just clattered back and did you see it down? I I just saw it hit the trees. I didn't see where it actually hit. Did you see it down? No. He's in there somewhere. So it's it's lottery as to where that's going to finish. I I feel betrayed by the pair of you here. Dan, Dan was in charge of yeah, advising you, I just think. stayed out of it. Dan no, out of his trusty five wood. Sit on, sit on the old fence, I'm a leaper. 256 I think it was to the quarry. That's going to be fine. A little bit up in the air but that should be stopping nicely just over the hill, run down. Club, isn't it? Ball's going to be Sitting below your feet D4, but that's fine. You know? A lot easier shot without the driver, isn't it? We've talked yeah. Joe into having another go because yeah, he's not had enough punishment. Go. I think I think also this is kind of a bit of payback for bringing two drivers out with you and yeah. 17 clubs. I think. Yeah, I think that is fair. Actually, I think you're kind of pushing the boundaries of friendships with those sort of moves. Yes. Tell you what, but if that's hit well enough, that ain't gonna be far off the green. Coming yeah, down there flat, somewhere. Yeah. That was more oh, like it, it, wasn't it? <laughs> That was more like it. I can grin. <laughs> I didn't. Got a big argument going on here. Joe's found his five paces out of bounds. Well, I mean, it's, it wasn't a great shot, but there's just no room to hit a driver. And, and this clown, this, 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 your absolute clown. Of if, a if everyone uh, records back, I think you'll find that I just stay quiet. Dan was advising him to hit driver. <laughs> but that's fine. It's the first person I've ever seen hit driver, and you can see why now. Most likely the last. One of the five. Okay, very brave, Joe. Well done. Thanks, Dan. 
fan favourite. Okay, up the left, let it fade back, Paul. Uh, I think the wind, yeah, the wind's hard off Wind's the left, ball below his feet, so everything's saying it's going to move from left to right. <laughs> Joe struggling. It's going to drawn it into the wind. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, credit where oh, it's wow. Credit where it's back. Due. Credit where it's That is due. a beautiful golf shot. <laughs> oh, he's shooting you. He's <laughs> just shooting you. I hope he never does that again. <laughs> that creeped me out a bit. Right, we've got Dan halfway down this bank. How far have you got? 76 yards to the front. Yep. 82, or oh, sorry, 90 to the middle. Okay, so he's coming over a little gorsy ravine. Pin looks tucked on the front side there, doesn't it? With that it red does, flag. yeah. There's a little tier behind. You've got a backstop behind it. The pool's just spun down. Spin, 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 spin. Spin. If that comes back down, Paul's I think slope. That's a little long, though. Looks a bit deeper, that, do you? I just, just seem to fly off the face a bit. It was nicely struck, though, wasn't it? That tempo's there, Joe. Yeah, much better. Feeling the tempo. So all I'm thinking in my head is tempo. Oh, do you know what, Joe? I can't see another white stake here. It's like you almost like it stops there. Kind of hit as it long past as you, the outbound. As long as you can carry it to thir uh, 330. <laughs> 230. 230. <laughs> um, Joe's got himself pin high. I mean, it was 337 to that pin, so it's a big hit, Joe. Yeah, it was a big hit. But it's, uh, yeah, it wasn't. I still wouldn't suggest suggest it if you're coming down for a visit. No. Unless you're playing with Paul and he talks you into it. Right, so what have I got this for? Three off the tail, I've got this for par. You got this for par. Paul's in there tight by the look of it. Put some pressure on, make him hold it at least. Don't hit the slope. Yeah, you gotta be brave and throw it all the way, haven't you? Yeah, Looks pretty good though, I think, Joe. I don't know, I thought it hit the down slope. Too good. Oh come up short, Joe! Oh wow. So you didn't see yours down, but it ripped back off the bank. Did it? Yeah. Uh, it must be quite a spinny little spot here, because I didn't... didn't hit it with lots of spin, you know? Yeah, just a steep old bank. A little bit off the right. You like that, yeah, just inside that ball. Turn. That was it's okay, Dan. That's almost. Kind of scare anything, did it? it? scared that ball more than the hole. <laughs> Good enough for, for a, a level match. That's my par. So that's, yeah, that levels the match, doesn't it? No wiggling. <sighs> All right, it's nice to see you back down with us a little bit there, Joe. Yeah, well. Paul just having a bit of a birdie flavour. See if I can waste a birdie. Yeah, short hole, but not, not easy. Yeah, well done. Good birdie, that. Yeah. There's a message in there, Dan. Three iron wedge, not driver. Yeah. Driver. To all the kids out there, it turns out, you can be mean and win sometimes. You can be. 